In the headlines, 68 residents of the Cotton Hill area receive new homes under government's housing revolution. No injuries or damage to property following a 3.9 magnitude earthquake Monday morning. And Clive Lloyd and Gordon Greenwich receive knighthoods. I'm Andrea Louis with the Channel 5 News, back with the details after this. Flo is bringing you the best Christmas deals. Unwrap great prepaid deals like the ZTE Blade A3 Lite for $169 with a 7-day always-on prepaid plan and free gift. Amazing postpaid deals start with a Samsung Galaxy A10s for $159 when you sign up for a medium or large postpaid plan with unlimited weekend minutes to talk and talk this holiday. So this Christmas, get the latest phones at the best prices on the fastest network. Because with Flo, Christmas only gets better. Visit discoverflow.co. Terms and conditions apply. Here are some tips to reduce mosquito presence in and around your home. Keep water storage containers properly covered. Remove containers that can collect water from your surroundings. Keep garbage bins tightly covered. Pick up your litter and remove all tires from your yard. Keep gutters free of leaves and twigs to prevent stagnant water. Prevent Zika, Dengue and Chikungunya. Fight the bite! This is a public service announcement from the Dominica Red Cross. This message is supported by Flo. Flow is bringing you the best Christmas deals. Unwrap great prepaid deals like the ZTE Blade A3 Lite for $169 with a 7-day always-on prepaid plan and free gift. Amazing postpaid deals start with a Samsung Galaxy A10s for $159 when you sign up for a medium or large postpaid plan with unlimited weekend minutes to talk and talk this holiday. So this Christmas, get the latest phones at the best prices on the fastest network. Because with Flow, Christmas only gets better. Visit discoverflow.co. Terms and conditions apply. Thank you for staying with us. First up, over 60 residents of Cotton Hill in the Cottage constituency received letters of commitment during a ceremony on Sunday which would lead to the ownership of their own homes. Julian Morris has that story. The lives of these 68 families are expected to be transformed with improved living conditions. Each unit is reportedly worth roughly $330,000. Prime Minister Skerritt used the occasion to appeal to Dominicans to defend and support their country. There are some who are prepared to, to kick Dominica down the valley because they may not like this or like that and so forth. We have to be a more caring people. We have to be a more nationalist people. And we have to be able to stand in defense of our country. We cannot participate and join people who are trying to destroy our nation. Our first order of business as citizens of a country is to defend our patrimony. And if we are going to, we believe that if the country is affected, we may not be impacted. My brothers and sisters, as this hurricane showed us, every one of us in Dominica got impacted by the hurricane. And if this country prospers, every one of us will benefit. And if this country fails, as we saw when we came into government in 2000, with the austerity measures we had to put in place to fix and to stabilize the fiscal situation in the country, all of us paid our part. All of us were called upon to pay more taxes to fix and to stabilize the fiscal situation normally. So this government, as we always proclaim, we're not a perfect government. We all aspire to be Christ-like, but we will always fall short from time to time. But we cannot not accept the, and proclaim the fact that this party, the Labour Party, has done an extraordinary job in building Dominica. Senior Minister Honorable Reginald Austri, who is responsible for housing, says the DLP administration has been on this journey of providing housing for the last 20 years. The parliamentary representative says it's a dream come true for his constituency. Following the hurricane, Prime Minister engaged MMC 
to develop some resilient homes in Dominica. And obviously, clearly, Cotton Hill was on the cards. The initial intention was to build 27 of those buildings. That was before the hurricane. But following the hurricane, when we saw the housing needs that were scattered across the country because the entire country was impacted upon, both here and in Georgetown, we agreed that we would do a first phase in each of those areas. And so there came about this first phase of 24 two-bedroom unit apartments and 44 three-bedroom unit apartments. And that is what we're here today celebrating a major milestone for the people of the Cottage constituency and for the community of Lago in particular. The Cotton Hill Housing Project was developed by MMC Limited and funded under the Citizenship by Investment Program. In related news, Prime Minister Skerritt has continued his call for Dominicans to take greater care of their surroundings. The Prime Minister continued to promote beautification and cleanliness at the handing over of 68 housing units at Cotton Hill on Sunday. We have to pay more attention to the beautification of our country and to the cleanliness of our country. We cannot boast that we are the nature island of the Caribbean solely on what the good Lord has bequeathed to us. The question is, what are we doing to enhance it? What are we doing to protect it? There's still too much indiscriminate dumping of garbage across our country. You go across Dominica on the, on the, on the highways, on the, in, in the city, in the town of Portsmouth, everywhere in Dominica, people believe that they can bring these old vehicles from, from Japan and just put them by the side of the road and don't pay attention to these things. I'm warning all of you who have derelict vehicles on the the road, they will be removed and removed very quickly. And if we have to go to Parliament to change the law, we will go to Parliament to change the law. Because it is a safety issue and it is a health issue that you have all of these derelict vehicles in, in, com in, in communities, in residential areas. People build their homes. And these vehicles are bringing down the value of people's property. It's creating a health risk with rats and cockroaches in these communities. And but we all must work together to get this thing off the street. Because it's also impacting negatively on our tourism and who we really are. The nature island of Dominica, of the Caribbean. And so we have to pay attention to beautification and cleanliness. Each of us must play our part. He told home recipients the beauty of their property is enhanced by landscaping and the cleanliness of the surroundings. We have to work on this because tourism and the services certainly is the way to go for us in terms of the creation of sustainable jobs, the bringing of foreign exchange into our country, the expansion of the economy, the it is estimated that with the hotels that we're constructing, once they are fully operational, they could bring in no less than $160 million in national revenue to our country. And over $44 million in direct tax revenue to the Treasury. And we all know what we can do with $160 million in the economy. And we all know what the Treasury could do with 44, 40 million dollars every year, additional revenue, to build schools and to provide better health services to our citizens. And so we need to ensure that we all play our part. You know, back in the days, in the 80s, they used to say tourism is everybody's business. Maybe we need to go back to this mantra and recognize tourism is everybody's business. The Prime Minister also appealed for the promotion of peace among residents of the apartment buildings. It's important for you to maintain the peace in this property. You have to try to live as a community, as brothers and sisters. There will be senior citizens here, there will be, be children of school age here as well. Coming and having your, your sound system blasting the place will not be tolerated, my brother. 
we, we have to respect our neighbors. And as your, your paragraph indicated, we have to keep the place clean and beautiful. It is the intention of the government, it is the intention of the government subject to certain terms and conditions to provide the way for certificate of title for these properties. But there will be conditions set on this because wherever there is a benefit, there must be certain responsibilities on, the, on your part. And so we are continuing to make to do some reviews to what to the, our, our programs. We're not going to stop them, we'll continue them, but we have to bring a, a greater level of order and transparency in the whole process. And so we're working on these things to, to ensure that we can, we, can, we, can, we, can very, we can be much clearer than we have been in respect to um, how we are going to go about in respect to treating with these um, government properties. In more top stories, no injuries or damage to property reported following a 3.9 magnitude earthquake Monday morning. Coordinator of the Office of Disaster Management, Fitzroy Pascal, says the ODM will continue to work closely with the Seismic Research Center of Trinidad and Tobago to keep the public informed. The Office of Disaster Management can confirm the occurrence of an earthquake at approximately 11.10 a.m. Monday morning that was reportedly felt by some members of the public. Information provided by the Seismic Research Center, which is responsible for earthquake monitoring throughout the Eastern Caribbean, indicated that the earthquake was of magnitude 3.9, approximately 54 kilometers north of Roseau, Dominica, and 10 kilometers deep. There were no reports of local impact to persons or property by this earthquake. The Dominica Export-Import Agency has vowed to continue working with local entrepreneurs to boost the quality of their products in 2020. Here is Julian Morris with more. The word from head of the Export Promotion and Development Department, Lloyd Pascal. Mr. Pascal says incorporating more groups and institutions in the movement will ensure success for local producers. We have what we call the craft cluster that we are now promoting and also the cocoa cluster. And that is one area that we have identified, or two areas that we have, have identified, where we can bring our producers together, we can bring our stakeholders together, not just the, 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 art, the artisans who actually produce the items, but also uh, the institutions that work with them. So not just Dexter, but you have the Bureau of Standards, for example. You have the research people like CADI, you have the um, supporting agencies like the Ministry of Agriculture, um, the small business unit in, with the government um, and others. So we can bring all of those, if we can bring all of these people together, we bring support to the artisans so that they can now move forward as one. Pascal pointed out that entrepreneurs choosing to work solo hinders their progress in the industry. We found that um, as a result of them trying to work on their own, a lot of them are not able to, to meet the standards that are required. A lot of them are not able to achieve the successes that they should be achieving and they do not have access to some of the tools and some of the, the materials that they need as, as, a, as individual companies. So the idea is to bring them together and to bring support to them as it were with, in all those areas um, to, ex to ensure that the actual product itself is, is enhanced. Mr. Lloyd explained that Dexia is more focused on the craft sector due to the competition local crafts face from imported items. The craft industry is challenged right now um, with imported items. You know, they, 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 they sometimes, all items sometimes pass as, oh sorry, the, the imported items sometimes pass as authentic items or, or local items. And that is not good for industry. And we recognize that and we also want to work with them to improve the branding, improve the quality, and at the same time bring some much needed revenue to them for the work that they are doing. Dexia's focus on the cocoa and craft sectors are a first step in a plan to delve into other areas in the future. You are watching the Channel 5 News. Stay tuned for more after the break. 
Flow is bringing you the best Christmas deals. Unwrap great prepaid deals like the ZTE Blade A3 Lite for $169 with a 7-day always-on prepaid plan and free gift. Amazing postpaid deals start with a Samsung Galaxy A10s for $159 when you sign up for a medium or large postpaid plan with unlimited weekend minutes to talk and talk this holiday. So this Christmas, get the latest phones at the best prices on the fastest network. Because with Flow, Christmas only gets better. Visit discoverflow.co. Terms and conditions apply. Flow helps you stay connected to what matters. Simple plans and a better network mean that you can enjoy seven days of unlimited social messaging, three gigabytes of reliable data to use as you like, 700 local anywhere calls and texts with the always-on prepaid plan, all for $29. Keep your number when you switch to Dominica's most reliable LTE network. Buy wherever you top up. Switch to Flow. It only gets better. Si ou ni maladi HIV, e de maladi sexual. Si ou pa poteje ko lou kan sex ek plizye moun. Sakay mete la vi ou ak gwo danje. Ou ka expose tout pat na ou prezen. E de tan ki ka vini ek maladi ya. Seve yo kondom chak fwa ou kan ni sex. Change qui est important pour découvrir maladie à bonne ou sa vive en bonne santé, même si on est maladie HIV. Pour responsabilité, protéger le corps et puis les autres. Examiner le corps. Aidez de bout si même maladie HIV est l'autre maladie sexuelle. Flow is bringing you the best Christmas deals. Unwrap great prepaid deals like the ZTE Blade A3 Lite for $169 with a 7-day always-on prepaid plan and free gift. Amazing postpaid deals start with a Samsung Galaxy A10s for $159 when you sign up for a medium or large postpaid plan with unlimited weekend minutes to talk and talk this holiday. So this Christmas, get the latest phones at the best prices on the fastest network. Because with Flow, Christmas only gets better. Visit discoverflow.co. Terms and conditions apply. Welcome back. Dominica's TVET Council is promising to be more assertive in 2020. The Technical and Vocational Education and Training Council of Dominica held a national symposium earlier this year, bringing stakeholders together to shape training courses for potential Dominican employees. Executive Director of the Dominica Tivetsi, Paula Serafin, says the council plans to ensure high-quality training courses for Dominicans. The next step for the Tivet Council is to assert its role and to, uh, to serve the, the, the public in providing guidance and to coordinate um, a Tivet and skills training program in Dominica. Um, we need to establish that uh, we have our uh, partners on board. We need to establish that quality training is, is critical and so we need to play our role to ensure that training is uh, of a high quality standard to develop the workforce which we are looking for. We are really looking for a workforce um, and, and a TVET system, a skills training system that is, that is agile, one that is scalable, one that is flexible and also sustainable. One of the projects the council will embark on is changing the image of TVET to make it more attractive to the youth. One of the things that we need to establish, first of all, is to make TVET more attractive to youth. TVET has suffered uh, an image deficit for years, not only in Dominica, but in several other islands. And so that's one of the things we need to work on, to boost the, the TVET image, to make it a lot more attractive to students so that they, they, see, they can select TVET um, subjects as, as career choices um, later on with the parents as well because usually one of the things we find happening in our society not to downplay the academics but it's the reason why Tibet has suffered a, a, a poor image because people associate Tibet with uh, for persons who are unable to learn or are non academics The council plans to make its presence better known among the Dominican society in order to help build the skill set needed by employers in the country and the region. And I believe that, that the Dominica um, and Dominicans um, will benefit from, from TVET in the long run. And one of the things that the council seeks to do is to take a proactive approach to all this. Otherwise, we, you know, the, the 
impending, whether it be economic crisis or, or youth unemployment, can be mitigated before all of this is lost. And so we need to establish that the council is, 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 is a functioning um, body and that we are serious about Tibet, not only uh, are members of the council and myself serious about Tibet, but we want the general public to, to take Tibet seriously and to, to ask some questions. Clive Lloyd, whose West Indies side dominated international cricket, has been knighted in the new honours for service to cricket. The Guyana-born batsman, 075, captained the West Indies from 1974 until 1985 and played for Lancashire from 1968 until 1986. Since retiring, he has coached West Indies and worked for the International Cricket Council. The left-handed middle-order batsman made his test debut aged 22 against India and scored 7,515 runs at an average of more than 46 in 110 appearances. And former West Indies cricketing great Cuthbert Gordon Grinnett has also been accorded Knight Commander of the Order of St. Michael and St. George. The 68-year-old represented Barbados and Hampshire Cricket Club, but really made his mark in his 17-year career, opening the batting for one of the most dominant West Indies teams many of those years alongside fellow Barbadian Desmond Haynes. Greenwich played 108 test matches and scored 7,588 runs at an average of 44.7 and in 128 one-day internationals, he scored 5,134 runs at an average of 45. My Christmas Angel, the song that brought victory to Vanilla Henderson at the 2019 DBS Christmas Song Contest Sunday night. Vanilla, who is from Salisbury, is a teacher at the Christian Union Primary School. First runner-up was Nathaniel Durand singing Christmas in Our City. Ten competitors participated in the song contest. Guest performers were Carson Birmingham, Fire Lander, and Carlin XP. is bringing you the best Christmas deals. Unwrap great prepaid deals like the ZTE Blade A3 Lite for $169 with a 7-day always-on prepaid plan and free gift. Amazing postpaid deals start with a Samsung Galaxy A10s for $159 when you sign up for a medium or large postpaid plan with unlimited weekend minutes to talk and talk this holiday. So this Christmas, get the latest phones at the best prices on the fastest network. Because with Flow, Christmas only gets better. Visit discoverflow.co. Terms and conditions apply. Here are some tips to reduce mosquito presence in and around your home. Keep water storage containers properly covered. Remove containers that can collect water from your surroundings. Keep garbage bins tightly covered. Pick up your litter and remove all tires from your yard. Keep gutters free of leaves and twigs to prevent stagnant water. Prevent Zika, Dengue and Chikungunya. Fight the bite! This is a public service announcement from the Dominica Red Cross. This message is supported by Flo.
Now is bringing you the best Christmas deals. Unwrap great prepaid deals like the ZTE Blade A3 Lite for $169 with a 7-day always-on prepaid plan and free gift. Amazing postpaid deals start with a Samsung Galaxy A10s for $159 when you sign up for a medium or large postpaid plan with unlimited weekend minutes to talk and talk this holiday. So this Christmas, get the latest phones at the best prices on the fastest network. Because with Flow, Christmas only gets better. Visit discoverflow.co. Terms and conditions apply. To end the news, the headlines again. 68 residents of the Cotton Hill area receive new homes under government's housing revolution. No injuries or damage to property following a 3.9 magnitude earthquake Monday morning. And Clive Lloyd and Gordon Greenwich receive knighthoods. Feel free to contact us at news at marpin2k4.com. You can also access our past newscasts on our YouTube channel. On behalf of the entire production team, I am Andrea Louis. And to all of our viewers around the world, thank you so much for watching. Join us tomorrow.